What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn on two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite Chapter 6 Season 4. So basically, two-factor authentication helps you protect your account from any type of threat, and on top of that, it even gives you a free boogie down emote. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this video so I can show you guys how you can go ahead and get this free emote and also turn on it to factor authentication and by the way this works on every single platform now let's go ahead and jump straight into this video but really quickly before we do that we do this all the time if you guys want to have a chance to get a free gift from me it could be pretty much anything you want from the fortnite item shop like any skin bundle back bling, pickaxe, wrap, emotes, anything you could possibly want from the Fortnite item shop, including the brand new chapter six season four battle pass. All you guys wanna go ahead and do for a chance to get a free gift from me is just subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and comment down below your Epic Games username so I can obviously add you and send you the gift. If you end up winning, good luck. Okay, so just like I told you guys in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn on two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite Chapter 6 Season 4. And like I said, guys, once you go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication, it's going to add a second layer of security to your Epic Games account, to your Fortnite account. And on top of that, it's going to give you a free emote. So let me go ahead and quickly show you guys what that emote is. If I go and make my way into my locker, as you guys can see, I already have it equipped. It's this one over here. It's called a boogie down. It's a pretty cool emote. And you guys can literally go ahead and get this for completely free if you go and turn on two factor authentication. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do that. And this works on every single platform. So even if you play on Switch, mobile, any type of console, PC, it doesn't matter. You can use this method to go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication. There's gonna be a couple different things per platform, but do not worry if you just watch until the end and do exactly as I say, you'll be able to turn on two-factor authentication. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it and show you guys how you can do this. Okay, so first up, what we need to do is obviously go ahead and just load up into Fortnite just like me. So once you guys go ahead and load up into the main lobby of Fortnite, you're gonna be right over here exactly where I am. So over here, what you gotta do is open up your side menu just like this. I'm pretty sure you guys all know how to do this. So once you go ahead and open up your side menu, this part on the right side of your screen is gonna pop up. So as you guys can see, there's gonna be a couple different tabs located over here. At the top, we have this social tab right underneath it. We have this add friends tab underneath that one we have looking for party over here we have voice chat and right underneath voice chat is this tab over here called menu now what you guys need to do is basically find this tab over here called menu it's going to be right on top of this red icon over here so go over here and once you guys are inside of the menu go to the right side and you will be able to see all these different sections so starting from the bottom you have legal support and refunds, reporting, parental controls, Fortnite crew, and at the very top, we have settings. So what we need to do is to go into this settings icon. And once you guys go ahead and click on it, it's going to take you inside of your main settings menu, just like this. And what we need to do is basically look at the top of our screen and we're gonna see all those little icons at the top and you guys can see we're now in the video tab so what we got to do is to basically just move to the right side just like this and once you guys do that you're going to be in the audio tab just like that and then you click it one more time now we're in the communication tab and then you go again game game ui touch and motion mouse and keyboard keyboard controls controller controller mapping, and at the very right side, we're gonna have this tab called account and privacy. So basically what you guys are gonna wanna go ahead and do is to make your way into this tab called account and privacy. After doing this, you can just slightly move down like this, and at the left side of your screen, you're gonna see a bunch of different sections within this tab. So at the top, we have account, and then we have clipping, then we have social privacy, then we have gameplay privacy, 
then we have credits and at the very bottom we have legal so within these sections what you guys are going to have to do is to make your way into the social privacy section over here just like this as you guys can see it's going to be right underneath clipping and right on top of gameplay privacy now once you guys are here inside of the social privacy section what you need to do is to basically locate a certain setting we already have like four settings within this section so that's going to be very easy what you guys need to do is to find this setting called can receive gifts now once you guys go ahead and actually find a setting called can receive gifts it's going to be right underneath friend invite permission and right on top of party joinability now after you guys find this what you got to do is to click on it just like this and basically go ahead and just turn it on so if this was turned off for you all you got to do is to click on it like this set it to on and then make sure you apply it from the bottom right of your screen if this was already on for you you don't really have to do this part of the tutorial but yeah we're just making sure we're turning this on some of you might ask why we're doing this so basically the reason we're going here and turning on can receive gifts is because i have seen some people complain online that they were not able to actually get the boogie down email because they had this turned off that might be true that might not be true but we're just making sure we're turning this on so that we're not risking anything but now once you guys go ahead and turn on can receive gifts just like this like i said from the bottom right just go ahead and quickly apply this and once that apply mark is gone you can know that you have applied your settings and after doing this all you got to do is click your back button and then click it one more time and now you'll be back in the main menu of Fortnite, main lobby of Fortnite, just like this one more time. But obviously we're not done. There's one more thing we got to do. And after doing that, we will be able to turn on two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite Chapter 6 Season 4. Okay, so listen closely because this part is a bit more different so basically we're unfortunately not able to do this last part inside of fortnite so because of that i'm going to tell you guys exactly what you need to do and this kind of depends on which platform you're playing so make sure you guys pay attention so if you're playing on pc this is going to be very very simple for you just head on to any browser i'm sure you have a browser just go to any browser like google chrome or like anything else and then now that's very simple let's skip pc because that's all you got to do now for mobile players, you can also do this very simply. Go to your phone, go to any browser. You can use any other device to go to a browser as well. That's also very simple. For console players, if your console allows you to go into a browser, you can simply do it from your console. But if you can't do that, you might need to use another device like another computer or a phone. Now, all you guys gotta do is to go to any browser and then search up www.epicgames.com. Go to the official website of Epic Games and then go ahead and load it into your account. Just make sure you go into the official website of Epic Games, and then once you guys go ahead and make your way to the official website, there's this one more thing we gotta do. So let me go ahead and show you guys what you need to do to turn on two-factor authentication. All right, so after you guys go ahead and load up inside of the epicgames.com website, this is what you're gonna be seeing on your screen. We have like a bunch of different games and stuff like that, but we're here to turn on the two-factor authentication. So here's how you guys do that. From this page, look at the top right corner where you guys can see this little icon right here. So bring your cursor on top of that icon and go down to where it says account and click right here. After you guys click account, it's gonna go ahead and take you over to this page. So as you guys can see, it normally takes you to the account settings part, but I just switched to the redeem code part because there are some private information right here. But basically after you guys go ahead and load up right here, you're gonna see all these different sections. So we have account settings, email preferences, payment management, transactions, epic rewards, subscriptions, password and security, in-game currency, parental controls, EULA history, apps and accounts, creator programs, and marketplace seller. So after you guys go ahead and basically make your way to this page right here, what you need to do is go to the password and security tab right here. So click on it just like this. After clicking on it here, once you guys load up inside of the password and security part, what you need to do is really simple. Just scroll down slowly and you guys are gonna find the two-factor authentication part right down here at the bottom. So as you guys can see, there are three different methods you guys can turn on two-factor authentication. The first one is a two-factor authenticator app. So you basically set up an app from your phone and you link it here. So whenever you are going to log on from like a new device or something, it sends a specific code to your phone in that app. And then you can just like pretty much put it right here. This is kind of a hard way to do it. We have email, which is pretty easy. 
you just put in your email and they send you a mail when you want to log in to your account. And then we have SMS, which is also really simple. It just sends you a short message when you want to go ahead and log into your account. It sends you a code from there and you just put in the code and then you can go ahead and log in. So it's really up to you which one you want to choose. I chose email, but you can choose multiple as well. It is better to set up multiple for better protection. But if you want to just get the emote for free, all you need to do is just choose either one of these. It really doesn't matter which one you choose, just like I said, and click on setup right next to it and just set it up. It's going to tell you exactly what you need to do. It's actually really easy to set it up and you probably won't run into any problems. But if you do so, and if you can't figure out how to set it up, you can simply click on this how to video and it's going to go ahead and take you to the official video made by Epic Games showing you how to exactly set up the two factor authentication. But yeah, that is how you guys can go ahead and turn on two factor authentication here inside of Fortnite. After you turn it on the first time you log into Fortnite, you're going to be granted the boogie down emote for 100% free and you can still do this in chapter 5 season 2 as well. So if you guys found this video helpful make sure to drop a like and subscribe with the post notifications turned on so that you're not going to miss out on any future uploads from me. So I will see you guys later on a different videos. Take care.